Let's get ready to rumble! Hey friends, my lovely wishes. How is everyone today? It's Holly. Welcome to Dandelion Stitches. We are here again with a box opening. If you are new, uh, we are doing a battle of the boxes where we are comparing uh, quilting subscription boxes with each other in uh, all kinds of categories and you get a chance to vote. So I um, hope everybody is awesome. Uh, we finally had a hard freeze. I shouldn't say finally. I know it's only the beginning of October, but us uh, seasonal allergy people, uh, boy, that hard freeze. Yes. So uh, hopefully there will be much less hacking and clearing of the throat, which is nice for you guys because that's not fun to listen to. But anyway, let's get into this box. All right, so I thought it might be sort of fun um, to keep track of as we open this round's boxes to see where they came in last time. So for me, it was box number eight, and for you, it was nine. Uh, yeah, you were, there were a lot of C's, um, so kind of not, not so great. So let's see what she's got for us this time. Maybe, maybe things are looking up. You never know. We've got a different box. It's a lovely, a lovely peach box. With orange paper, which leads me to think we're doing fall or some sort of does look that way all right well that's oh those are cute look at that okay let's let's have a look autumn is my jam <laughs> i call things my jam all the time that's okay so extra points for being cute um we've got leaf pot holders by patchwork and pottery this is the very first kitchen project ever featured in the Ginger Quilter box. It feels so fitting for fall when I really enjoy baking all the apple and pumpkin good goodies. Use these pot holders as decor or put them to work in your autumn kitchen. So I'm assuming that that is what this pattern is. Um, that's cute. Cute, cute shape, cute fun. You can do it with scraps. Um... It says to use heat repellent batting, which is usually insulate. bright. Uh, so keep that in mind. Cute. I like I, I like that quite a lot. Okay, so next up is Season and Spice by Art Gallery Fabrics. All the fabrics and colors in this line are stunning, but can we talk about the little jars of jam? They are absolutely the best part of this collection. They are also the inspiration for this entire box. Okay don't think that those are it. I think this is it. Oh, it looks like she put insulin right in here. Yep, there it is. Okay. Oh, getting ahead of myself here. Do you want to save the fabric for last? I think we should. We usually do that. So we'll save that for last. Um, insulated batting. Having this insulating batting is an absolute must for making potholes and triverts. Don't forget to use this while making your project so you don't burn yourself when you use them. Um, this is commonly known as Insulbrite. It's got, you can see it's got like a metallic sort of thing in it. The thing you need to remember is never, 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 never put this in your microwave. So like sometimes if you use a pot holder underneath a bowl or something in the microwave, and this is no bueno, that's, um, unless you want a new microwave. So that is that, and this is just batting, I believe. So raspberry jam petites. Homemade raspberry jam was a staple of our gro home growing up. My grandma made it from her own fresh raspberries. While most glorious, while the most glorious way to eat raspberry jam is on a piping hot dinner roll, these cookies are a close second. I like raspberries. Um, that we have a, a apple orchard near us, and we just were there the other day, and they have <clears throat> raspberry pretzel dip, and it is so good. Oh, they remind me of Jammy Dodgers and Doctor Who. These look good. 
Okay. Have you tasted some of those? I'd rather be quilting spoon. I'll be the first to admit I'd rather be quilting than cooking. Oh, a hundred percent. Um, but when you have to cook, you can use your new wooden spoon so everyone will know that this is not your first choice activity. That's for sure. Do not enjoy the cooking. Sorry. Uh, the most wonderful time of the year, I looked up on the mountain next to my house and saw the fall color starting to change. This really is the best time of the year, in my opinion. Don't forget to take a walk as the weather cools down. Um, there's a little, there's a little baggie of buttons here, too that I did not see on the list and they're adorable. Handmade with love, handmade with love, all kinds of handmade with love. Those are, look at the itty teeny wait, So cute. Oh, you put them on the, on the pot holders. I get it. Just sucking out. I don't want to lose them. So on the, on the pattern, see there's a little button right there. Cute. I like this. I I am I am liking this. Okay, let's have a look at the fabric, shall we? Did she did say what this fabric was? I'm pretty sure. Season and Spice by Art Gallery. Come on, there we go. Okay. All right, I feel like I've seen this before, but per perhaps not. So these look to me to be fat eighths. Oh, uh, they're definitely not fat quarters, but let's just, I'll just lay them out. It's art gallery, so it does, it is nice. It feels, it feels really good. Sorry, I'm making this harder than it needs to be, but. These jam jars are are adorable. Look at those. Those are adorable. Beads. I know I've seen this fabric before, but I feel like not recently. Like, hmm. How about some oranges? Oranges and cinnamons and Wow, oh, okay, and then this is cute. Let's open this one all the way up and get the... Yeah, that's upside down. Okay, so we've got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, and since pot holders, she probably is feeling like we don't need fat quarters in order to make that happen. But there are some fat quarters that are of the same patterns. So there's this one. And this one, and then these cute jam jars. So I would guess that that's probably a similar amount of fabric that we would get generally in a box. Um, there are no, no notions, I guess, unless you want to call the buttons notions. Um, the Inselbright is 
is awesome. Uh, and because that is not inexpensive. Well, it's not super expensive, but you know, so I don't, I don't know that I call a wooden spoon a notion. It's more of a, this is a fun kind of thing. Buttons. I don't, hmm. Hmm, I say. Let's see. Quality versus price. 55 is a pricier box. Uh, I, I think, mm, 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 there's a pattern. It's a good one. I'm going to say four. Quality's super good. Preference, it, it's, it's all right. Um, amount of fabric, um, it's enough to do the project, which is kind of the goal. It's not, okay, I'm four. There's a pattern. Um, projects, one, well, yeah, there's a project. Yes, I'll make it. I don't think there's a video. Let's find the information again. <laughs> that I stuffed it all the way to the bottom. No video. Usable notions. I don't I I don't consider buttons to be a notion. So I'm gonna say no notions. Uh creativity. Three. Uh my vote would be a B minus. Okay. Go forth and and tell me what you think. Oh shoot. <laughs> oh shit. How long has that been doing that? A million apologize. Um the camera angle. I don't even I didn't even realize I hit it until I looked up and saw it crooked. But you you can see what's going on, so I didn't feel like I needed to refilm everything. But Sorry, it seemed like suddenly you were hurt. Um, this box is, it's a good box and it's got good fabrics and it's got a really cute pattern, um, but it's expensive. And, and you know, when you're kind of making, at least for me, when I'm kind of making my judgment calls, I have to think about, yeah, do I really feel like 55 is... I'm not sure. Um, so that this is kind of one to ponder on. I'm, yeah, uh, good luck because <laughs> I struggled a bit with this one. So uh, be well, be safe, and I'll see you soon with another box opening. Bye.